Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. So, I have a new product to review for you guys. Um, so, I went on a skincare haul in my last video, I think it was like two weeks ago. I didn't record last week because it was my birthday weekend and I was kind of busy. So, I was going to record Friday and Saturday this week because I typically try to do my videos on Fridays. However, um, the sun has not really been out for a while, and I prefer to do the natural lighting until I get, like, a good, I guess, synthetic lighting. I don't know what you call it. Fake lighting. Um, set up. And it got really bright just a little bit ago, but apparently the sun's going away again. So, anyways, with further ado, um, I, in my haul video that I did a couple weeks ago, I mentioned that I had the benefit cosmetics um professional that i got as a foundation primer and i tried it and i wasn't a big fan <laughs> um i know some of the biggest makeup artists out there absolutely love this stuff um i know jeffree star uses it sometimes and there's a few other people um it's a pore minimizer but and it goes on very smoothly it's very nice um however I use a matte foundation, the CoverGirl 3-in-1, it's a no-shine, and it almost over-mattified it, which is something that I'm, I don't want. I'm actually debating on getting the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation to kind of get more of a glow, but I do love the foundation. I think it's great. But um, it just really over-mattified it, and... I tried a little, I tried a lot, I tried it underneath, then I tried patting it on top, like it suggests, and it just wasn't working out for me. So I returned it for the Cuddly, bear with, Venosaurs? Venosaurs? Let's see. Um, cream Sorbet Moisturizer. I'm absolutely in love with this stuff, guys. So it has... Uh, moisturizing organic grape water, soothing chamomile, and antioxidant polyphenols. Um, it's hypoallergenic, and it quenches and soothes your skin. So, on the side, it says that most 90% see soothe skin, 77% says skin is less prone to redness. Um, for redness, still been kind of red. Not right now, because I have foundation and everything on so it has helped actually after a week or so i have noticed that the redness in my cheek area has been going down some um but the main thing is it really smoothed and plumped my skin up really really well you don't need a lot of products i tend to put it on a little bit heavier if i'm putting my foundation on which <laughs> some people might sound weird because it does kind of have a little bit more of a slippery feel it's like a it's just it's not even slippery it's just a the most amazing <laughs> moisturizer i think i've ever used it definitely has outdone the clinique dramatically different moisturizer which has always which has been my favorite for a long time um but when i put my foundation on it just melted right in um it didn't take much to blend it out at all and it actually kind of took away some of the matte. So if you're a person that wants, like, really matte makeup, this may not be the best thing for you to use as a primer. Great as a regular moisturizer. Or maybe go a little bit light-handed with it. But, um, it kind of took a little bit of the matteness away to the point where it looked more like real skin. Um, I don't really know how else to describe it. But it just... It plumps up and makes my skin look so freaking amazing. I'm floored by it, honestly. By far the best moisturizer I have ever tried. And best thing for priming my makeup I've ever tried. Everything from the like foundation, my contour cream, everything just melts together perfectly. I am so in love with this product. I'm really, really shocked. Um, and it's, I think, I don't know if I mentioned before, but it's 40 mils, so it's 1.3 fluid ounces. 
I use about the size of a pearl, I guess, um, for my face and neck. So like I said, this is going to last me quite a while. I actually just finished the deluxe sample size that they gave me for my birthday, which I think was like a half ounce, maybe a third. I don't know. Anyways, stuff is amazing. I swear by it. I will never go without it. Um, I really want their, the uh, illuminating serum, which is kind of milky and also has moisturizing effect to it. But for $75, I don't know if it's worth it because right now I'm actually really loving the alginous stuff, um, which I will do a review on later. I got the best of alginous kit with my points, um, and there's definitely some that I will be buying full-size products then. But anyways, um, that is the review. I'm sorry, this is a lot shorter, uh, but... There's not really much else to say about it. It just really, really is amazing for my skin. Um, and considering that it's also hyperallergenic, um, it's on a, if you have oily skin, I might ask for a sample first. Um, but if you have, I have a combination, so I have a very oily T-zone, but everything else is really, really dry. And this works perfect for all of it. I don't know. Um... But yeah, so that's all I have to say about the Cuddly Venosaurus Binosaurus Hydrating Sorbet, Moisturizing Sorbet. It's just hands down the best. It's, I do still like to use the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Moisturizer um, for underneath my foundation as well. But if I'm wanting more of a natural look, this stuff is definitely where it comes in at. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please click follow down below to see future videos. I have the Cat Bounty Cream Contour Kit that I'm going to be reviewing here soon. Um, I got... I finally broke down and bought one of the Fenty Beauty products. I got one of her highlighter sticks in Unicorn. Um, I'll be doing a review on that and some other things. But until next time, I will see you guys later. You guys have a nice day. Bye.